Hello lovely friends and a very warm welcome to another mixed media tutorial with me Lisa Taggart. This one I'm calling Curious and I'm delighted to be able to use the uh, Lavinia Stamp sticker stencils. I've been so inspired by seeing all of your makes and I thought I would have a go as well. So if you're interested in that let's go through the materials first of all. We've got the sticker stencils and I'm using that shape for this one. I'm also using my watercolour card, uh, the hot press version and I've also used the masking sheets uh, to create my own inner stencil which I'll explain in due course. I um, just used a, a sheet to cut up, a custom made one. Now I'm also using Stabilo pastel pencils just for a few little colouring aspects. Periwinkle and Midnight Blue for the sprays, also Sun Yellow and Bright White. I'm using pan pastels uh, for and turquoise and titanium white. Also uh, the lovely ultramarine blue and violet. And finally I have magenta. In terms of the ink pads we've got mulberry which is one of my favourites for the elements. And we've got warm breeze and medieval blue in Versafine Claire. I'm using masking fluid uh, for the moon. I'm also using white gouache, any sort of white paint will do and a little brush with that for some of the shadow work. I've got uh, my stencil brushes uh, for the painting and also uh, a stencil for the moon. I've got my applicators for the pan pastels, some diamond stickles for a touch of twinkle, some Posca pens in orange uh, light and a dark pink and turquoise. A few uh, zig markers just for, for some colouring in, inside the bottle. I've got orange, yellow, a sort of mid-brown and a dark grey. I've got gel markers in uh, black, yellow and white. A couple of sparkle pens in orange and gold. An ordinary pencil and a Stabilo all black pencil. Next up we've got the stamps and I've got the sacred tree which is beautiful. Scout in small. The Spell Casting Remedies bottle in small and Meadow uh, Blossom, Silhouette Foliage set, Pippin, the Moss, Forest Moss set and uh, the Cork for the bottle. Now I don't have this stamp but I had a photograph and that's a cutout. So if you want to convert all of that into something that looks a little like this, just keep on watching.
at this point I'm sure you're thinking it looks pretty rough but bear in mind these are under colours and um, I'm now going to bring in the sunset tones by adding this beautiful mulberry colour with the element inks and I'm starting off very lightly with my stencil, this is the large stencil brush and sweeping it across from either side. I'm going to try to keep the centre of the uh, vase or bottle uh, clear because I'm going to be enhancing that with pan pastels but I'm brushing this across and of course it'll mix with the colours underneath and all of a sudden that very uh, stark and bright yellow will become more of an orange tone and um, some pinks then will uh, appear in the sky over the top of the blue and you keep going until you feel you've got the um, appropriate mix for a sunset a sunset and a moonrise which is unusual I know but it is magic after all and one other thing to mention is that I have gone over the outline of the bottle again so I don't lose that so I know where it is and what to uh, deal with after this stage As you can see I've added the purple to the hills the same uh, colors as before just to speed things up and now I'm taking this um, custom made masking sheet and I'll just explain why I'm using it and how I made it um, I'm placing this uh, in the inside of the um, sticker stencil shape and the reason for this is because I wanted the glass to appear uh, a little bit thicker uh, so I could put some reflection in the glass and I didn't want the stamping to go right to the edge of the sticker stencil so I created this by um, using the Lavinia stamp um, the negative part of the sticker and draw it in the inside of it on top of a masking sheet and then just cut that out um, and then when this is removed you'll see it's left an edge either side and that allows me to add the reflective elements to the glass you don't have to do this you can stamp and color right to the edge if you wish it's just I thought I'd, I'd like a more realistic look for the the reflections now as you can see I'm also taking my pan pastels and enhancing the color inside the the, the bottle now I'm thinking all the time that although um, this is uh, additional colour I want it to mix in with what's behind because I want the scene inside the bottle to be the same scene as what is on either side of it but I do want the sun and the moon to be in the bottle so the, the sinking sun is what I'm doing now by using white and I wanted the moon to be surrounded by darker tones and by using lots of white what this does it mixes in and you'll see I'm going to be adding pink later on as well and I'm simply mixing it there we are I'm simply mixing it with white and in the end up what you'll get is a sort of paler version of the outside of the bottle and that's because um, of course when there's glass it'll make what's uh, inside the bottle a little bit paler but it'll still show the sunset and what's happening outside the bottle if that makes sense so it's just blues and pinks and purples and I'm now adding a little bit of the turquoise just to darken down the base of the container and I'm blending that in all the, all the while with the white and I think also off camera add a, add a little touch of some of those colours on the outside of the bottle just so that they blend in with the outside.
re removing the mask and as you see it leaves the border around the outside. Now I don't actually have the uh, cork stamps unfortunately. I thought I did have them but when I looked I realised I didn't. So what I had is a picture and I cut that out and uh, drew around it to create the cork. And I'm just going to um, freehand draw what is in the stamp. Not as beautifully as Tracy's version, but I'll do my best with it. I'm also then using my Zig Clean Colour Markers to add a little bit of colouring. And although I've added the pebbles to the bottom, I want there to be mossy patches later on. So I'm going to be colouring in the moss area in the oranges and the yellows because of the reflection of the sunlight. And I'm going to be adding the little moss uh, stamp to that um, in the uh, Paler uh, Sea Breeze uh, Versifying Claire ink pad. And I think I do that off camera. And you'll see then I'll use the outline of that to add some little highlights. But uh, this is the basic under layers at this stage. And I'll, ha I'll enhance all the little colouring aspects later on. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to use the white gouache paint to fill in some of the reflective elements at the little edge that I've created at the side of the bottle. And um, it is a wee bit difficult to do this part on camera because I'm inclined where I have to paint straight lines or draw straight lines to have it right under my nose. So persevere with it anyway. And I'm certainly doing the white part in, on camera. But later on, I think I do the dark part off camera. Excuse me for that, but it's simply because I need to do it very carefully and straight. And the camera angle is always a wee bit difficult for doing colouring sometimes. So all I'm doing here is adding the white reflection. The light is coming from the right hand side, the right hand side, and I'm adding uh, the uh, the white in. Um, I'm creating a sort of a almost like a screw a screw top uh, at the at the top, and I'm using my um, picture of my cork to roughly put in the the details of the stamp and I'll finish that off with the black later on. Thank you. 
Okay, as I said, I did some off camera, so I'll talk you through it. I took my white gel pen and tidied up the painting. Um, I also uh, looked at my stamp and tried to replicate as best as I could with black and white what it looks like behind the top of the bottle. I added um, some black to the side and I also used uh, an orange Posca pen to add little touches of orange down the side and a little touch of white just to uh, play in with the reflections. And finally, I also had a, a black um, line drawn through the white there at the right hand side to sort of indicate the um, edge of the bottle. So I hope that explains it. And I'm now moving on to the shadow using a zig uh, clean uh, marker in dark uh, blue gray. Now this is a little close up of the yellow gel pen where as I said previously I lightly stamped in the little um, moss stamp on top of the balls and this created like uh, circular masses of vegetation I suppose and I'm using my white now to highlight that and in particular the little spikes uh, of the moss to make it a little bit fluffy and I uh, think it worked out quite well doing it that way. And then I just take my Posca pens and carry on colouring the uh, flowers above and uh, bring them out in more detail. There we are starting with the, the pink and then I move on to the dark pink and the yellow and I use the turquoise for the little stones at the bottom etc. Now I blended all of that out with uh, a sort of uh, creamy coloured uh, pastel pencil and now what I'm doing is I'm trying to recreate a tiny miniature version of the larger scene inside the bottle. So I'm taking my pastel pencil to roughly draw it out first of all and then when I'm happy with the shapes I'm just going to lightly use my um, black gel pen to fill in the detail so at the moment I'm, I'm doing a tiny bunny and a tree and uh, basically using my pastels and my gel pens to uh, create a tiny little scene so we have a world inside a world inside a world <laughs>
So friends, that's the project complete um, with the diamond stickles added into the fairy's wings and the fairy's little uh, headdress and so forth. Also added some sparkle and twinkle into the little scruffy pieces of grass. And I think I used my gold sparkle pen, pen to add some highlights both inside the little bottle to the scene and also to the grass and you can see hopefully it twinkling. I add a third star as well up to the top right hand side just to balance out the picture and um, well I hope you like it and I hope you will be inspired to create your own little scene in a bottle. Remember you don't have to use the inner uh, homemade stencil you can just uh, use the stencil as it is. Please uh, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video today and you haven't already done so, it is free. Also hit the like button, leave me a comment, all very important to my channel. Also this piece is for sale and you'll find the link for my um, shop below, uh, hit the more button. And that's it for today. Of course, take very good care of yourselves until next time. But above all, be brave, don't be afraid of it, get creating and enjoy the adventure. So